Morning guys. It's July 15th here in Rusty, Rhode Island. So when I came back from breakfast, I don't know, I was looking down at my breakfast and I rolled the truck right down into the ditch. <laughs> so I hadn't hooked up the four-wheel drive uh, front axle yet with the cable. It used to be a vacuum diaphragm and I was going to use a hand choke. So now I got to bring it in and do that. So I got it just uh, pulled up into four-wheel drive. So here we go. Here's the test on the four-wheel drive. So, uh, just had to get the gear selector in the right place. So when I was in two-wheel drive, you see what happened, and then eventually the front tires pulled. Been thinking about doing something with this truck. I've had it on the market now for, uh, I've had it on the, I, well, I don't leave it on the market. I only put it on for a few weeks at a time. I find that if you get the little thing behind that says you've been there more than like five weeks, eight weeks, you start getting the low ball, they figure you're desperate to sell it or something, you know? So we're going to take it in the garage and hook up the, uh, what I'm going to do is use a choke cable, and then the choke cable will pull the front axle in to get into, uh, watch out Lucky, get out of there now. Get your freaking head run over, dummy dog. Get out of there. All right, look at that. I can't even get in the garage. Let's put it four-wheel drive. Hop right in. That little uh, bump that I keep right there by the door so water doesn't back up in would hold this thing back. <laughs> I would have to roll over a little faster. So, uh... This truck... Like I said, I've had it on the market several times, and it hasn't taken off. People like it, but uh, not enough to come off the cash. I'm thinking about going into a new color. Or maybe change the theme from Army to uh, either Coke or Pepsi. I could get an old Coke machine, put it in the back, paint it red, get some signs for the door turn this into a coke machine maybe it would sell faster I don't know because uh, like I said I'm not getting a lot of hits on it some guys went for a test drive and they really liked it but didn't have the money I wanted for it I'm not gonna give it away though I got a lot of time invested in this truck might not be a lot of money but I got a lot of my time <laughs> you can just see I got this piece of wire holding the cable right now so it stays in four-wheel drive. And what I want to do is I'm going to make a bracket that'll you know, have the choke cable that I saved and when you pull the choke out it'll pull this and pull it up into four-wheel drive and that'll be uh, good enough for uh, when I do dumb stuff like drive in the trench. <laughs> oh where the hell my head was this morning I went to breakfast I go to breakfast about 6 o'clock and then I come back and I was reaching over because I never finish my breakfast. I always put part of it in the bag to eat later. And I was picking up the bag and I didn't hit the brakes fast enough and went poof, right into the trench. But if that prompted me to finally get the four-wheel drive working, hey, so be it. See what's going on here in Rusty Rhode Island, guys. I uh, hope you all are enjoying your weekend.